In this example, we again want to solve for our triangle. So we need to find our unknown side lengths of AC, BC, and then we need to find our theta A. So let's first start off by finding our side length of AC. As we can see, we have our knowns of 30 degrees and our side length of 24. So using these two numbers, let's solve for our side length of AC. We know that sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse and cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So to find our side length of AC, we need to use sine theta because AC is opposite to our 30 degrees. So we're going to have sine theta, which is 30 degrees, equals our opposite of AC over our hypotenuse of 24. Now to solve for AC, we want to multiply both sides by 24. Those two cancel out, and we're left with 24 sine 30. When you put this in your calculator, you get an answer of 12 to be your side length of AC. So now that we've solved for our side length of AC, we can solve for BC. We can see that BC is adjacent to 30 degrees, so that's where we can use our cos theta. So we'll use cos theta, but instead of theta we'll have 30 degrees. Our adjacent is our unknown side length of BC, and our hypotenuse is 24. Cross multiplying both sides, we get 24 cos 30 equals BC. Putting this in our calculator, we get our side length of BC to be 20.78. Now that we have our two side lengths of AC and BC, we can solve for an unknown angle of theta A. Now remember, all the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So we have 180 has to equal our 30 degrees plus theta A plus our 90 degrees in the quarter. So adding up the right side, we have 30 plus 90 gives us 120 plus theta A. To isolate for theta A, we want to subtract 120 by both sides. And we get 180 minus 120 to give us 60 degrees is our theta A. So now we have our unknown angle and our two unknown side lengths, and we've solved our question.